Like Narok. No, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. How many? What's the approximate number, John? Billion. Did you say B? Billion. Oh. After that, we headed off further into the park for some delicious lunch in the bush under a fig tree. Uh, have a look at what we had. Lunch was so so delicious accompanied by such amazing conversations one of the conversations was about how the Mara never gets old and this is where the second part of the video comes from where we just share one of our favorite things or two or three oh gosh people went off things that we love about the Mara so do enjoy and visit <laughs> okay, okay, let me start with it. Okay. She's actually trying to, trying All right. to remember that song. Okay. Hi, sweet mommy. Please share with us one of the things you've loved the most about being in the Mara. Everything yeah. has been so wonderful and extraordinary. Ish. Uh, like Kama Kawaida in the Mara. Mm hmm. Uh, I, I can't even it's it's a bit hard to to decide which yeah specific but mm -hmm. really I've never seen this number of lions mm. ever since uh, it's like that's part of like within lions within today wow almost 20 yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. so many yeah. and in different 21. poses like today yeah. I saw a pride of male cub male yeah, yeah. yeah young, male cubs. Yeah, male cubs. Just mm. them. Yeah, alone. This is really rare. And uh, considering that there was a time when there was a concern about the number of lions in the Mara. Yeah. It was really nice. And just having this break in the middle of Corona. It's amazing. Uh, because these times of Corona, of course, uh. it, there's so much uncertainty, but this was a, a breath of fresh air. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Yeah, um, about Mara, I'm so grateful. And uh, this time round, it's my second time. But the other time, it was just a brief passing through. This time round, I've really enjoyed. I've been able to see the uh, either natural wonder, the crossing of the wilderness. Have you got a crocodile? 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 Have you
when they were crossing and even when they were like I even uh, got the story on how they may come back sometimes when they miss the way they're supposed to be going to the other direction crossing over. Mm. and actually the tour guides they are just excellent they yes. are able to take us through the process and tell us what happens and not forgetting about the birds I really love the birds and I was able to know the different types of birds and uh, their unique characteristics it's amazing it's a very amazing about the lions I cannot even say I was able to see so many of them and I also experienced the wedding of a lion and, uh, hey. <coughs> Say, if you want to hear about this, yeah, Yebo. Yeah, yes, okay. Yeah, we we're gonna talk about the animals. <laughs> Me, I'm gonna I like choose to something animals. else then. I was about to say the landscape also. Yes, Ooh. Yeah. <coughs> look at that landscape. Amazing, amazing. And yeah, I thought that, lovely. I had thought I'd been to the Mara so many times, but I'm yeah, sure it's new. every single time it just mm. there's it's more strange. to to discover, more to explore. It's yeah, beautiful. It's amazing. Mm. Yeah, so, so the landscape, thank you. What else? Um the abundance of animals <laughs> <laughs> in the Mara is yeah, it's just so spectacular. You guys it's just the big five yeah. and all also other animals. Every single day you go out and every day is different because yeah. the animals are in different places. Amazing. We want to have more and more and more. And also the landscape, yeah, it's breathtaking, spectacular, it's calming, it's scenic. Um, yes. Hi, Leo. Hi. So, what I like about the Mara is the hospitality and also the service that's here. I also mm. like the way they give you the sense that you are one with nature. Like, you, I felt this is the first time I felt empathy when I saw ele elephants, like they're so graceful, yeah, yeah, yeah. So So that's Aww. what I really liked about the Mara. Thank you. Each and every food that we have had has bathed our taste buds. It's amazing. It's been a Including the adventure. lunch that we just had right now, which you'll have seen. But yeah, I'll be posting some of the pictures on my Instagram as well. It just feels so good to have been able to get this break in the middle of a pandemic. I think it's a bit more mm -hmm. easier yeah. to practice social distancing and yeah, to the open, and the openness, the fresh air that's there. So it's also, you know that you're having fun and resting, but you're also being safe. safe. Yes. And the hotel we've also stayed at has been very good at doing that angamamara yeah top notch so yeah. just so grateful and happy yeah. what do i like about the mara yes it's very beautiful like rati said it's very scenic i really like that mm -hmm. and and when no anyway we didn't get to do it but i also really like the hotel air balloons yeah it's, nice, it's very scenic and then like the breakfast outside seeing the animals I from love, above love, love, love. Yeah, balloon. even the masai oh, dance yesterday mm -hmm. that was oh nice. yeah <laughs> Our culture, oh, ours, ours, Sissy. Yes. Culture is our Maasai. Let's show them the kids. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hello. Uh, my experience in Mara is so much fun. Like, uh, I, can't, I just came to realize that Angama, the name Angama, mm -hmm. uh, that flows.
windows and air with the other suspense yeah so it's uh, mm-hmm. so nice to experience that's so nice uh, activities. i want to add something yes mm-hmm. our guide yeah hey. he's, a ge- he's a gem <laughs> His name is John. He, he, he knows the place. Yes. Grew up here. He grew up here so and he really away. surprised that he spotted some lions exactly. from so far away. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but then also his photography is Excellent. top notch. Top notch. Yeah. So picture. I like I yes. like the vibe about photography that Angama has really taken seriously mm-hmm. because you know to take a good photograph really a skill as well. Yeah, by the way. Yeah. It's not just a random thing you do, you really have to yeah. Yeah. time the moment like, lighting. So, so like you would you would want to get the face of the lion. You know, not mm. just the face. Mm. You would really some mm. really nice moments. The yawn, the yawn, yeah. The standing. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's also a point on hospitality. Trained, trained like yeah. That. The and guy the jobs. drivers yes. they're very kind, welcoming, they're also very knowledgeable about yeah, the park, yeah, about the wildlife, about yes, Kenya. Yes, and they're very patient. Yes, and they also... Mm-hmm. Uh, was it a gazelle? Which is going to be bad. And they're like, you oh, just yeah. wait. Yeah. yeah, so that was a you very good You saw gazelle in Kimba. Yeah, Kimba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And another one also, we are breastfeeding. We saw, we saw a Thompson gazelle. A Thompson? Breastfeeding. Yes. So, the baby was very... I have never seen that. I have that picture. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It is very, very beautiful. It's like you. And by there's something about the Kifana. They're the ones who have uh, the jeans. The ones are the top ones. The top ones. The top ones. The top ones. Those are the top ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That's so cute. I don't so think we've seen top ones. So I saw a few top ones. Top yes. And he yes. also yes. told us, our John, because they're both John, yeah. mm-hmm. also told us that this is a time when um, the top ones, the gazelles, the antelopes are getting their babies because... Uh, right now, the the lions, the carnivores are eating the wild beasts because they're mm-hmm. in abundance. And then now, later on, this when the wild beasts are being migrate, mm-hmm. it's like the way ca- uh, nature takes care of mm-hmm. each other. Mm-hmm. So right now, mm-hmm. these kids means that there will be a bigger population oh, okay. when now yeah. they're no longer wild being hunted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the kissing of the elephants? Yeah. Elephants yeah. kissing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was hey. beautiful. Hey. It was beautiful, yeah. and up there. Yes, yeah. Yeah. and also they. I saw an elephant yes. breastfeeding yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And the hippopotamus yeah. coming out from the water, yeah. going to graze, going back. Also trying to save, um, I think it must have been a wilder beast from the. No, the hippo yeah. was chasing the crocodile out of the water. Yes, 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 yes. So that's why you should come to the Mara. You yeah. Know, see oh. animals. Mara is the place nature, to be. Nature. Mm, yes. Drama. Going through life. Drama. Drama. And then the Stories, center. Yes. Mara. That is Mara drama. Within a short time. She's worked in Savo. Yeah. Yes. For a, a love, huge I chunk of her Savo. career. I still have <laughs> <laughs> but of course, yeah. it's, it's a bit frustrating looking for animals in the Savo. Yes. Yeah, Mara, the but animals are overflowing. Mara, it's, it's, quite, yeah. it's quite. And you learn about animals. The animals yeah. are in yeah. abundance. Mm. Yes. Birds. Also, birds. We also saw a lot of birds, a lot of vultures. Mm-hmm. Lot of... Yeah, the vultures are so many. Ukul was a German explorer in the early 1400s. Oh, a white back vulture. This one here. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Thank you so much. One last reason to love the Mara is that the people employed in the hotels and in the park are from the local community. The wow. local yes, community, yes. Which is empowering for them. They get to benefit from this natural gift that they have. Which is how it should be. But then also, this is where they grew up, so they're just better prepared to like. Explain to you about the culture, the people, the animals. This is yeah. home, and they love it also. Oh. On top of that, yes, yeah.
Beautiful. So what do we say? Tembea. Tembea Mara. Tembea Ngama. Tembea Kenya. Yeah, actually our guide was telling us about all the other game reserves like like Kipia, Sibiloi. We are really fortunate as a country. We have the coast and we have the everything. Yeah. All right. Over and out. Yeah, we want to head back to the lodge. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe, all oh, of those yeah. things. Definitely. We are following on Twitter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>